Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just woke up and I decided to check on some prices. Cash Tira is over $1,000. Holy ball sacks. So smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. We're only 14 subscribers away from 1,100, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry for the bit of a different intro. I literally just woke up about 30 minutes ago, and I did not sleep well at all last night. And then my dumbass crashed into a closed door in my room while going to the bathroom, and my body hurts. Literally like a cartoon character from Tom and Jerry. So anyway, help me feel better by smashing that like and subscribe button and also hitting that Taco Bell notification bell. So... To preference this, yes, or preface, whatever it is, <laughs> uh, this is obviously pre-sale prices. I actually read this article last night um, on TCG Player, and the prices have dropped a little bit, even just in less than 24 hours. This was $1,156. Now it's down to $1,118. That's obviously because of the fact that some of the prices have dropped uh, in pre-sales and also the cash tier stuff that's already out. You know, if you remember cash tier Fenrir's, I think just about a month ago were $70 a piece. Now they're at like 55 to $60. Uh, yeah, like right now Fenrir's are $55. Look at this drop January 27 to 29th, they're 70 bucks. And now they're all the way down to about $56. Now, this could be attributed to the fact that maybe people just realized that the deck isn't as good as they thought, or also because of the fact that uh, people just want to offload their cash tier stuff. You know, maybe they're afraid it's going to get hit on a ban list, or they just don't want to play the deck. They don't need it anymore because they don't plan on playing cash tier. But besides the point, this deck, just even if you bought it for the pre sale prices, is over $1,100 for this particular build. You know, what's cool about the TCG Player articles ever since they moved over from the actual TCG Player to Infinite, whenever they make decks, it actually prices out the market price for you. And what's interesting is that uh, one of the tier element builds that I saw on here was only like $386. So basically for after shipping and taxes and everything, maybe $390 to $400, you can have a tier zero deck, main extra side deck and all. This $1,100 price tag is only from the main deck and then this builds particular extra deck. That's not even including a side deck, which could be another $150. So you're looking at anywhere from, with current prices, $1,200 to $1,300, ladies and gentlemen. And that's absolutely nuts. You know, we knew going into this Photon Hypernova set that people were going to have to pay a bit out the wazoo to get this deck if they want to play it. But the good news is about this is that I would argue that Kashtira is a tier two to rogue deck. You know, it, it auto loses to board breakers like evenly, lightning storm to a lesser extent, um, kaijus, even though no one's playing kaijus, but then you also have sphere mode and Nibiru. Like you have so many ways to deal with the Kashtira board that honestly, I'm starting to think that even after we get a ban list, even if tier element dies, you know, we still have things like Gishki Sprite with the new Gishki Ritual Monster out of Hypernova. We have Tri Brigade Sprite, like what we're seeing in the OCG. So even though this price tag is a bit insane, you can also take solace in the fact that you're not missing out on a whole lot. You know, if you don't feel like playing Cash Tira and you want to play something like Sprite, and you already have all that stuff, then you're good. And honestly, like I say in all of my market watches, if there's a deck that you see coming out months in advance down the line, the OCG, why are you waiting to get your stuff when the prices are at their highest point when you can just get them in advance? Again, I know I keep on using this example, but Light Force Sword Super Rares out of Legendary Collection Yugi's World are anywhere from eight to nine dollars right now. I got mine for quarters, like because it was like two or three months before Cash Tiras even came here, but we knew that the deck was going to be pretty good. So I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my max rarity uh, Light Force Swords right now. And it, it paid off for me. And it's the same thing here. I mean, this goes with any card, not just side deck cards or anything like that. You know, it goes for archetypes. You know, Cash Tiras, the pre-sales are obviously going to be insane. Like, to me, Cash Tira Rise Heart's not a $20 card. It's like a 5 to $10 card. Um, tier element cash tier is not a $23 card. It's like a five to $10 card. You know, it's pretty good, but like, it's not all that good. Um, <clears throat> cash tier theosis or theopolis, whatever it's $60 on here. It's a secret rare. I would say it's more like 20 to 25, maybe $30. Uh, and then race off of course is 64 on presale. I don't think we're going to see this hit the $70 price point that we saw primeval planet Pellerino hit because you know, that's a tier element card that, and race off is a cash tier card. And it's just not as good as tier element in my opinion. Um, 
And then of course, like, you know, you have the extra deck here, which I, I would argue that this extra deck isn't even very good. If I'm being honest, like you want to be playing a bunch of two ofs in your extra deck so that if you're in a mirror match with cash tier, then they can't just hit the one ofs out of your extra deck. And then, you know, you're just up the Creek without a paddle. But beside all that, that that's semantics, you know, again, you don't have to worry too much about this price tag because it will go down. Now, with that being said, what can you expect? I would say like after this February 10th or excuse me, 11th through 12th YCS, I would say that like if you want to get cash tier as you know, even after the first YCS next weekend or the weekend after that, you're still probably going to be paying $700 to $800 main deck, side deck, and extra deck included, depending on like what other cards you play. You know, even like Astral Karibos are a few dollars now, I know. So you do need to take that into consideration, but luckily there are other options. And we do have a balance around the corner that will, of course, shake up prices. But I just want to make this video to let you know, like, hey, look, this deck is expensive. This shouldn't be a surprise. And if you were ahead of the curveball, like I tried to tell you, then hopefully you were at least able to get in somewhat well. Now, of course, people are going to say, well, even if I had Fenris and Unicorns, I got to buy all this other stuff. And that is true. And that's why I always say, don't get into the pre-sale prices. Wait for the prices to drop. Because especially if Cash Tierra doesn't do well at the bigger events, then these prices are going to drop like a rock. And then, you know, you could get all this new stuff for maybe 100 to $200. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, this, this, this price tag is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.